guys, welcome back to the channel with another dodgy review um, of a dodgy product. This time is a pair of Nike TN Air trainers from DHgate. Um, okay, so originally, if you buy the original Nike version, they are £165. These cost me a total of £38, including carriage and tax from DHgate. Uh, ordered on the 26th of March and came on the 14th of April. It took 19 days to arrive, so not bad. Um, the reason I did it is because I haven't got £165 to spend on trainers. Um, I've got a young child, I've got two elder children, I've got a mortgage, a car, a wife. Loads and loads of bills, all my energy keeps on going up, thanks British Gas. Um, so, I thought, why not? I thought I'd give it a try. I've ordered some other bits from DH Gates, uh, a couple of football shirts and bits and bobs like that. So I thought, let's try some trainers. Um, I'm actually really impressed. Um, I won't lie, I've only worn them once. Uh, that was to go to a family barbecue, which was only for a couple of hours. I didn't want to wear them a lot and kind of ruin them before this video. I, I've had them about two weeks now and they've just been sitting on my shelf. Um, when they first turned up, it was, they were in just like a plastic delivery bag, um, marked up as trainers. Um, as soon as you open it, I, there was a really strong, like a chemically glue smell. Um, that's gone now, that's, I've been sat on my shelf for two weeks. I did notice that quite a bit, to be honest. Um, but now I'm stood this close, I can't smell it. Um, look and feel perfect. Sorry, I'm, I've had to create a load of notes. I've got quite a few videos to do. Um, I've had a few pairs of TNs over the years, although it's been some time since my last real pair. I think my last real pair was probably about 10 years ago. Um, I can't really notice the difference. There are a couple of little issues with them. Um, like, what have we got? I've just noticed some stitching just here that's a little bit loose. But again, you could just go along with a little knife or something, a little pair of scissors and take that off. One of them, not that one, that one, you can kind of see they've got a guide mark on the base, just there. But you can just see the dotted line where it's not just quite in the right place. But again, it's on the bottom of the trainer, you would never ever see it. Um, I got these really because I wanted a pair of grey trainers. Um, I wear a lot of grey and a lot of blue. These are perfect. They've got a nice little bit of uh, bit of colour in them. So you've got the red tick and the red air bubbles. Yep. Um, what else have we got? Okay, right. So this is a question I've actually written down for myself. I always ask myself, are the fault stroke issues worth the difference in cost to the original product? Okay, so these were £126 difference in cost. Are they £126 less? of the original product. No, not at all. I've only worn them once. That might change. I might wear them a second, wear them a second time and they might fall apart. But that's the risk you take with DHK. Um, the sizing of them is perfect. Uh, I'm a size 10, so I ordered size 11 in US. I think that's how it works. They fit fine. The laces feel strong. All of the markings ain't coming off. I've had a bit of a play around with them. The air bubbles aren't solid, you can actually feel. There's air in them, and there's actual cushioning. Um, they've, on, when you're on the H gate, don't be fooled because when you're looking at the pictures, you don't see any Nike signs. That's their way of kind of getting through the kind of counterfeit legality way, I think. But when they turn up, as you can see, it's got Nike sign, Nike sign, Nike sign, Nike sign, even on the inside where the label is, Nike sign. So would I recommend them? Yes I would, um, but you will have to take the risk. I can't imagine that every single seller on there is selling good quality products. Um, with DHK you've got to be a bit careful what you search for because you can't put, you, you get better results if you didn't write Nike trainers. If you wrote TN trainers, then you'd be better. Um, or something like, if you're searching for an Arsenal shirt, don't type Arsenal, type in Arsen, A-R-S-E-N-A, I think, Arsena, that's it, it's just with the L missing off. 
Um, but yeah, I, like I say, I'm going to be wearing them over the next few weeks. If you don't see another video after this, assume they're good because I wouldn't bother making another follow-up video for this because you lot have probably suffered enough. Anyway, so that's my review of the DHgate Nike TN trainers. I can now start wearing them because I don't have to worry about keeping them clean for this bloody video. Thanks very much, guys. Mm -hmm.